Example 3.7. In this example, we have a stream of a beverage which is flowing from a cooler. Both of the diameters are given. We need to determine the flow rate from the bottle into the cooler in order to maintain a depth to be constant. In order to solve this problem, the first step will be to write the information that we have about each point. So we're going to label it as 1 and 2. Let's start with pressure. Pressure at point 1 is atmospheric, therefore is going to be equal to 0. The velocity at point 1, we don't know it, and we're just going to label it as V1. Um, the altitude or the height or Z1 is going to be equal to H. And then we also know that we have a diameter uh, D. For point two, we have that the pressure at that point is also equal to zero. We got P2 and P1. The velocity at that point, we do not know it, and that we're gonna label as V2. We're gonna take that elevation to be equal to zero, and then we have a diameter equal to D. Notice that we have two unknowns, and for us to be able to solve for them, we will need two different equations. So we're going to use both Bernoulli's and continuity. Let's just start by setting up Bernoulli's equation. And we're going to write P1 plus 1 half rho V1 squared plus gamma C1 is equal to P2 plus 1 half rho V2 squared plus gamma C2. And let's cancel the terms that we don't need. We don't have pressures. And the elevation at point 2 is equal to 0. Now we have a, re a relationship between the two velocities and the altitude C1. Let's now write continuity between the two points. We have the value of rho 1, V1, A1 is equal to rho 2, V2, A2. Because the fluid is incompressible, we're going to determine that rho 1 and rho 2 are the same. Therefore, we could say that V1, A1 is equal to V2, A2. Simply that both of the locations have the same flow rate. So now, we need to find that relationship for V1 so that we could plug it in into this equation and then solve for both of the velocities. So we could say simply that V1 and the area for point 1, for point 1 is going to be pi over 4 D squared, capital D, and this is going to be V2, and once again, the area is going to be pi over 4, and this is going to be lowercase d squared. In this case, both pi over 4 cancel, therefore the relationship that we have for V1 is going to be equal to d over d to the second power times v2. Therefore, we could substitute it into this equation and get the values for v1 and v2. After you do a little bit of algebra, you could find out that the value of v1 is equal to 4.95 times 10 to the negative 3 meters per second, and the value of the velocity at point 2 is equal to 1.98 meters per second. To find out the value of the flow rate, we could simply find either V1 times A1 or V2 times A2, whichever you prefer. However, the value has to be the same regardless of what values you use. Therefore, the value of Q for this problem is going to be equal to 1.56 times 10 to the negative 4 meter cube per second.